Hey friends, tonight we are going to be doing some antique shopping here at the Lakeland Antique Mall in Lakeland, Florida. We're going to be looking for some vintage Disney memorabilia, some theme park props, and anything else that kind of catches our fancy. And then later on, we are going to be going over to Sir Henry's Haunted Christmas, which is a Christmas themed haunted attraction, which I am so excited to do. So I figured I'd bring you along with me. Anywho's, let's go do this. I come down to the Lakeland Antique Mall almost monthly just so I can browse around and see if there's any amazing interesting pieces that I can add to my collection. And like I said, there are dozens and hundreds of vendors in here and you can actually purchase some of this stuff that you see in the video today. So I will put uh, all the information in the description below so you can just reach out and contact the Antique Mall and they'll help you with anything that you need. Since the Lakeland Antique Mall is kind of located next to Sir Henry's Haunted Trail, it's about 13 minutes apart, I figured I would just make one big video and bring you guys along on the journey of fun and just share it with you guys. Today we're going to actually take a look at all of the boots at the Lakeland Antique Mall and just try to find some cool amazing things and every time I come here it seems like there's a new booth or a new vendor popping up and like I said there's tons of them each little booth is all separate so like this right here is a new record booth and I love how they have the Disney picture disc actually all set up right here so you can go through all Disney records that they have Mary Poppins for $29 Oh, the Christmas Carol. See, these things are really, really cool. I like these. Like I said before though, this being like an antique mall, you would be shocked at the things that are in here. And I've made plenty of videos before showing some of those things. And I'll try to show you some other cool, interesting things. But the things that still get me like, where I'm like, why? Why is this actually in an antique mall? It belongs in a museum. Those are the things I'm gonna show you as well. One of those items that gets me every time is this Walt Disney signed Snow White doll. So this is a Snow White doll signed by Walt Disney himself and it's $12,000 and then right next to it is an original Mary Blair artwork and that one is $14,000 but like those two items right there they belong in a museum that is crazy take a look at some of the cool items we got over here first thing that caught my eye is this treat stop banner for the mickey's not so scary halloween party this used to be uh actually where the treat stops were so you can go trick-or-treating and this is amazing like this is so cool look at that they actually have a picture of the banner where you would actually pick up your candy and they're selling it for 250 dollars like this was in the magic kingdom i love that and it's so cool because you get to see a little bit of uh, Mickey there all dressed up as a vampire. Another really cool thing I noticed is a bunch of Christmas trees from Universal Studios. These are all Christmas trees that were around Universal Studios for the holidays. Look at this one was actually in Marvel's Superhero Island and I love it. Like, these are so, so cool and there's so many of them. And then you also have a lot of Halloween Horror Night props right over here. They have the uh, Scarecrows from the Scarecrow stock. And look at Michael Jackson back there. That's actually really awesome. I love these. These are so nifty. $2,500 for these. I love it. I can't get enough of it. So it's a good mixture of like uh, Universal Studios and also Walt Disney World. Over here we have a Haunted Mansion plaque. Look at this whole pillar right here. This is amazing. This is all Haunted Mansion right here. Wow. It comes with the plaque and also a shovel. This is so unique. I mean, I don't think this is like really from the Haunted Mansion. It looks like it's a replica, but I love this. $795 for that. That is such an amazing piece right there. It's kind of got me all giddy. I would love to buy something like that and just have it in the corner of my house. This right here might be one of the coolest things I think I've ever seen. If you guys don't know, there is a special suite inside Cinderella's castle at the Magic Kingdom. And this right here is a robe that is included in that suite. So if you end up staying there, you actually get this robe and look at that, it even says princess on it and it is so beautiful. This is a very rare item and you can actually look right here, look who's wearing it, Katy Perry. That is so cool. A lot of people have been stayed there. This room you cannot book. You can only get it if you're invited by Disney and to be able to own a piece of that is really remarkable. I am like super impressed with the Universal Studios props that they have here. Some of these pieces are so awesome and I really want to own some. Like it is so cool seeing these things here. 
one of my favorite Halloween Horror Nights was Beetlejuice this year and they actually have a piece of the house from Dante's Inferno right there you can actually see it inside the house and here is the Dante's like that is insane $229 for this I love it it is so cool can you imagine saying you own like a piece of the Beetlejuice house from Halloween Horror Nights I love it that is such a cool collectible right there on top of the Beetlejuice house, they have tons of other cool Halloween Horror Night props. Look at the Universal Studios globe back there. That was really awesome. And then also these uh, operating signs. We're sorry, but Transformers 3D ride is not operating due to preventative maintenance. And they have them for almost every single attraction here. They get Men in Black. They even got Shrek 4D. And that's closing soon. So that's gonna be really rare. And then they have the Mummy, Despicable Me, Barney, I really love these. These are $150, $150 for these. And then also they have these Halloween Horror Night signs and they're sitting actually on, uh, these are chairs from Nickelodeon Studios. These were inside Nickelodeon Studios when I was at Universal Studios and they actually like swing around kind of like uh, the uh, Mass Singer does or the voice. And I like these, these are super rare. I'm not sure how much they are though doesn't have a price on there some of these character like mannequins here are from Universal Studios and there are props from Halloween Horror Nights I showed you the scarecrows and some of them are from just different Halloween conventions and I just think they're so unique looking this is a cool little prop right here and it tells you that uh, this is a Universal Studios original prop HHN radio $350 for this and it's massive it's bigger than me and I just love it. I love finding all these things. And they all have like a little bit of certificate of authenticity along with them. I mean, they're one of a kind. So like, that's like the certificate of authenticity. Like all of these uh, scarecrows that were used inside the Universal Studio stores, there's only one of them because this was the only display. And they're selling for $2,500. Some of them are $2,500, but it's like a full like set. And also take a look up there. The Storyteller, that is so awesome. Also some Stranger Things sign to go along with the Universal Globe over there. Take a look at some of these foreign Walt Disney movie posters. These are movie posters for the Three Caballeros and I think it's in Belgium? Like I think this one is Belgium right here, yeah. Disney's Three Caballeros movie poster from Belgium. That one right there is $78. And then this big one right here, which is beautifully framed. This one is uh, $259 and this is from Brazil. So that one is super, super awesome. I've never seen anything like that. And then over here, we have a couple Larry Dotson Haunted Mansion uh, prints. And I just like the way that these look. The frames are amazing. And you can just really see the detail in there. And they're very limited edition too. I think there's only like 999 of them. And they're selling for just about $800 a piece. And it's just such a cool thing. Now having these and the Haunted Mansion plaque with the shovel or like the, the brick that would be such a cool combination. Very expensive though. Old movie posters like that, like original movie posters are so hard to come by, especially in the condition that those ones are in. Because like, you know, it's paper. Paper actually doesn't last that long and even if it just sits there, it actually gets destroyed. So it's really cool to see items like that. Here is a couple of the Earl the Squirrel signs from the uh, Universal Studios Tribute Store. Take a look at this. These are really awesome. These are $100 a piece, and I kind of like them. I think these were from uh, 2020's Tribute Store, only because I can see they actually have the wax o -matic machine right here. And this is from 2020, because you can see the uh, front display there. This one is $299, but these are actually really cool. You gotta love a little Earl the Squirrel. And I also like how the signs are right here next to the Christmas trees. Not only do they have Christmas trees from Universal Studios, but they also have Christmas trees from Disney. Like they have the trees from the Polynesian Resort. They have a couple of uh, garlands from the different resorts as well. And it's just always nice to see a big variety of things. You know what I mean? Right here are some of the Christmas trees from Disney's Polynesian Resort. And these are really actually very festive trees. You can see we got a little photo over here. I'm not too sure how much they are though. $595. They're very big though. 
<laughs> I mean, they're big, big trees. Down here, you have some Disney Springs Christmas trees. Up there, a couple more Disney Springs Christmas trees. And I think this is a castle from either the Contemporary or Disney Springs. Not too sure. Oh, there's a little note on the other side, so we'll go look there. This is from Disney Springs too. This was in the world of Disney. So this is the prop right in the center of the holiday section. That's really nifty, $1,500, but it is a Christmas Cinderella castle, which is very hard to come by. Over here, we have some full-size rugs from the Grand Floridian. These were only $50, and these were actually in the Grand Floridian rooms. That's a really good deal. Honestly, I really like those. And then also, these are kind of like something that I really, really love. These are photos from the Grand Floridian. And you can see this one right here, how vintage it looks. It actually has a little tiny hidden Mickey at the bottom of the bear's foot. I really, really like these. These are $225. And I think they have a couple of these. And then up top, those are the Alice in Wonderland photos from the Grand Floridian as well. Most of all of this artwork is from the Grand Floridian. That is right there. This one over here, oh, this is from Saratoga Springs. This one's actually really pretty. And oh, this one's Saratoga Springs too. But you wouldn't know that Saratoga Springs unless like it has a hidden Mickey on it. For a lot more Disney and Universal props, you can check out Vault Collectibles. They have a little QR code here that you can find them on Facebook and uh, actually see what they have you know, for sale whenever they actually bring new things in. And I just love it. I mean, <laughs> I'm all about it. I was heavily debating on buying the sign from the Beetlejuice house, the Dante sign. So I came back over to look at it because I was like, $229 is a pretty good price. But I did read down here in parentheses that the sign was never actually used in the house because it was too big. So it's still a nice piece of uh, HHN history, but I think I would have liked it a little bit more if it was used in the house. So there's two of them. So there's one that was actually used in the house, and then this one where they made the holes too big to fit the light bulbs. So this one never got to use, never got to be in the house. Something that's really popular right now is Disney Christmas memorabilia because a lot of people are getting ready to decorate for the holidays or purchasing things so that they can have it for next year. And there are so many Christmas items over here. Like I love every single one of them. We got Santa Mickey, we got Goofy tangled up in lights. And these are all brand new, like in the box, $145 for that right there. And then tons of ornaments as well, snow globes, so many cool, fascinating things. I love this right here. That is so awesome because it's the haunted house from the Mickey shorts. That's $95 for that. And there are so many like cool holiday festive things. Ooh, look at the Lion King collectibles. Oh, this is so cool. I love these. Seriously, Shenzhen, Rafiki, Pumbaa. And then we've got <laughs> Yago over here and then Quasimodo. These are so cool. I've never seen these before actually. Things like that I get super excited about. Back here we have a lot more of amazing pieces and I've showed a lot of these before in the past. You know what I mean? Like the piece of the 25th anniversary castle, Cinderella castle from Walt Disney World. This was actually on the castle for the 25th anniversary. If you remember the birthday castle, here's a picture of it too. Right there in the center. So cool, right? I love the fact that that's here. An old Walt Disney World security jacket. That is so vintage and so cool. A lot of this stuff is Winnie the Pooh props, like the fridge and the, the stove. And I just love it. I honestly, I love coming here. Oh, here's a Beauty and the Beast mantle. This is gigantic. It's a fireplace and this is in one of the resorts there, but it's Beauty and the Beast. So it's super awesome and it's big too. So like it'd be hard to actually ship that around and move it around. A couple more awesome pictures and prints. I like this little uh, birthday clock up here with Mickey and Pluto and friends. This seems super old, it's $125, it's a wall clock, but I really do like it. And then we have a 20, uh, 20th anniversary Walt Disney World photo. This one is really nifty, along with this side-by-side -side Disneyland one, New Orleans Square and then Main Street USA. And you have Br'er Fox and Br'er Bear in there. This is super cool. Like I said, there's a lot of amazing items. 25 magical years. This is uh, $495 for that. I mean, that's a big price, but it just goes on and on. There are so many items in here. 
Like, <laughs> every time I come here, it's always something new. I always find something very fascinating. All of these tickets to like Disneyland and Walt Disney World. These are uh, like original like e-tickets actually that they actually used to actually hand in to ride a ride. $20 a piece for those. And you can actually check out a lot of this stuff at Recycle the Magic. This is one of the uh, vendors here, Becky and Pat. They are really awesome people. Has all their information there. Email, phone number. You can find tons of cool items and they always are restocking. Take a look at this Crystal Palace serving tray hosted by Colombian coffee growers. 100% Colombian coffee. I don't know if this was used at the Crystal Palace. I would assume it was and it's so old, but it's, it's such a cool piece. I don't know how much it is. Yeah, Disney tray, Crystal Palace, $225. I really, really do like it though. Some things I come across and I just absolutely love them. Has nothing to do with theme parks or movies or anything like that. But this furniture right here is so cool and so antique-ish. And it kind of looks like it belongs in the Haunted Mansion. I mean, doesn't it just look so awesome? $775 for these. They are so cool. I'm afraid I don't want to sit down inside them, but I love this furniture. This is so cool. Like if I had a living room where I knew nobody would be sitting in, I would want to have these here. Like, you know what I mean? It's such a cool collectible and it's it's like, it's it's really, really awesome. And this whole booth is kind of cool. It has a bunch of different old antiques and Big Al. <laughs> it's got Big Al here in the corner. Look at that. I wonder how old this is. This is really awesome. I love Big Al, he's my favorite. This picture right here is an opening day Yacht and Beach Club commemorative uh, photo. And this is so awesome. I don't think I've ever seen one of these before. This is something else, this is from 1990. It's $99, that's not too bad at all. Look, it's a whole entire view of uh, the Yacht and Beach Club. And I like the retro Walt Disney World sign on there. This is something very, very cool. I wonder if it comes down a little bit. Look at that, good condition too. Take a look at this large Mickey Santa right here. $395, but it's so beautiful. And it's solid too. Wow, I just love like Disney Christmas items. They are just always so fascinating. It's like such a unique thing, you know what I mean? They also have some other Mickeys here. I think I've showed this before with Roger Rabbit. And they actually have some Roger Rabbit slippers. These are so cool. Look at that. Oh my Lord, wow. These are $35 for those. <laughs> they are the cutest things ever. I think we saw a lot of great items here. And the one thing that I'm probably going to be leaving with today is that 1970s Hershey Park map. I'm from Pennsylvania, so being able to have something like that really means a lot to me. You know what I mean? Especially coming from Pennsylvania to Florida and finding that. That's the first theme park I've ever went to. And uh, yeah, I definitely have to get it. And we're going to hit the road and head on down to Sir Henry's Haunted Christmas. And I can't wait to bring you guys along. <laughs> I mean, that's going to be a nice adventure and something unique like I've never been to a haunted Christmas attraction before so this is gonna be fun hopefully we'll see Krampus there she is you're coming home with me I love it it is so beautiful and also take a look at how beautiful this sunset is oh my lord I just love living in Florida it is so amazing out right now and here we are Sir Henry's Haunted Christmas. How cool is that? I am so excited for this. If you don't know what Sir Henry's is, is it's a haunted attraction that they actually have during the Halloween season, but they also do like other holiday haunted attractions like Christmas Tonight. They also do like a Valentine's Day Massacre. And I'm so excited because this is the first time coming to the Christmas one and it's gonna be good. Like I said, I'm really pumped for tonight. As we're about to head in, that beautiful sunset is happening and you can hear like kind of creepy hey, Christmas music, which is really awesome. I think we're just gonna head right on in and I am so excited. This is one of my favorite haunts and for us to have a little Christmas one. Oh, good sir. Hey, how are you, man? Oh, you get, up. Money, you want, man? oh uh, I don't have any money. Oh, what a cough drop do? <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, I was gonna give you a cough chalk because you're smoking your cigarette there. <laughs> nice. Of course, I'm super excited to run into my friend, Tampa J. <laughs> What's up, everybody? You excited for some Sir Henry's tonight? I'm so excited. Actually, I could go for some uh, gingerbread about now. Oh. Well, he better be careful. He's got a knife. Oh, he's got a knife. <laughs> he's got a knife. Right, make it quick. Make it quick. Oh. Oh. <laughs> not my gumdrop buttons. Not my gumdrop buttons. Not me. Oh boy, and Krampus is creeping behind you. Look at. Uh oh, I think we're about to have a showdown between the gingerbread man and the Krampus. <laughs> the chase <geez>, panicking. <laughs> Looks like we got Santa and Mrs. Claus here hanging out. Looks like Santa's pouring a little something extra into his hot cocoa there. <laughs> a, little, a little something extra. <laughs> yeah, gotta kick up the cocoa. <laughs> yeah, kick it up to stay with her and it's been a year. Oh my lord. I am so sorry. <laughs> Boy, oh boy. Well, enjoy that hot cocoa, Santa. Uh, Thank that, you. That's why. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> We're actually going to go head in for our first haunted trail of the night, and it's a Christmas haunting here. Now, I can record in the house, but only facing me to show you how I get scared, but I don't know how, you know, bright it's going to be in there, so uh, I'm not sure if the footage will come out, but I know I'm going to be scared, and you can probably hear me scream. I don't know what she said to you, Micah. She said, no! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yep. Uh, I, I I'm translate. Translated. <laughs> now she's just creeping around a little bit more there. <laughs> Very well. Thank you. They, they speak. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. Oh, good. Wonderful. Day. <laughs> she doesn't listen. They never do. Hey, don't, don't <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> All right, time to go in now. Ooh. Many Christmas Eve's ago, jealousy and grief led one man to kill his brother. This mistake went out for him to be drinking. Thank you. Creepy child walking through a stinky bathroom. That's your eternity! <laughs> Welcome to eternity! <laughs> oh boy! That was such a fun trail to go through. I know you guys can't see a lot because I don't want to spoil it for you. So we're only shooting POV and uh, it's kind of dark in there. But the next one we're going to, it's definitely a lot more prettier, I believe, and a lot more multicolored lights. And I think the gingerbread man is coming up behind me. Yep, there he goes, casually walking by with a knife. On top of the two haunted trails that they have, they also have the gingerbread attack laser tag. So you can play laser tag and you get to go through some haunted trails. And I like it. They also serve hot cocoa here and all the other things that you would want to see for a Christmas event. Now I think it's time we head into Krampishment. And, and I just like the outside of it. Look at all the pretty multicolored lights. You know, they're my favorite. All right, here we go. Krampishment. Lordy. I want candy! They never give me what I want! I want candy! They never give me candy! Dad! He Dad, wants candy! I want you to build me toys! I do everything for you! No! You're always in here, but you never build me what I Go want! Go in the room, you little brat! Kids these days. Krampus is gonna get you, you know? He isn't real! Krampus is real, we saw him. <laughs> oh my lord. You pathetic idiot! You really think Santa exists? Oh, an idiot. 
I just ran into a wall. Oh boy. <laughs> What's the matter? Why are you leaving me? in my feet. Oh. Great for brass. Oh. Wow. My Christy Mouse ate everything I wanted for Christmas this year. But was that enough? No. Please, all I wanted was a present Christmas gift. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh my lord! Krampusment was a lot of fun, and now we're all gonna join up together and play a little laser tag. A big group of us, so I'm very excited for that. Oh wow, we're going all in here. We're lined up. We're ready to go. <laughs> Choose your weapon wisely. <laughs> oh yeah, look up. I got my gun and I'm finding my spot. Look at Jackie over there. She thinks she's so clever. Oh my lord! Oh. <laughs> hey now! Mission complete. We do it. We did it. How many times you die? Um. D, right? D. Eight. Six. How many times you die? Eight. How many times you die? How do I know? It says D. Hey, well, how many times did you guys die? Four. Four. Jackie's winning. How many times did you die? No, you didn't. I swear. I swear. Somebody was hiding. <laughs> Another cool thing is they do have some Sir Henry swag, so you can actually buy some cool things like hoodies, hats, and they even have a book, Sir Henry's Haunted Tales. Take a look at that. I love these shirts, actually. These are really, really awesome. Well, that was a lot of fun, and I think we're calling it a night here, but I get to walk out with the signed copy of Sir Henry's Haunted Tales. I really love coming down here. In the description of the video, I'll put all the information in case you want to book tickets. And like I said, they do this all season round. So they do a Christmas, they do Valentine's Day, and they do it for the Halloween season. And the Halloween season is a lot bigger, and it's just a fun atmosphere. So if you want to check it out, it's not too far from Disney, about under an hour. And if you want to come down and do the Lakeland Antique Mall, this together they're like 10 15 minutes apart so i hope you enjoyed the video i enjoyed making it we'll see you next time bye